Hi, I'm Dan Davies of Palma Barbers London. Today I'm going to show you how to do barbering. Today we're going to show you how to do a trendy hairstyle. So today what we're doing on the model is, uh, is we're reducing some of the volume down off the sides there, keeping a lot of this length in the top and coming forward. So we're just going to section these bits off here, take a little bit of density and cut this through and then we're going to be adding texture through the top by point cutting and using a razor. Okay, so we've just washed the model's hair. Shampooing cleans the hair and conditioning protects the hair. Especially with longer hair, you want to be using a definitely a little bit of conditioner just because this will stop the hair tangling. Make sure you've got nice clean sections. Having nice clean sections just allows you just make, make sure your work's nice and tidy really. When you're taking a section, don't take it too big. Just go across with a comb and we're leaving most of the length through this, we're just adding a little bit of texture to the top. So instead of going straight across, we're just turning the hand, and chipping into the mid lengths and ends, and just breaking that. Make sure you can see the guideline, what you've done, and just follow that through. Okay, so now we just cut across that way. The way to check this is by going across the other way. Have a look there. There's a little bit of hair there which needs to come off. It just takes you through. This ensures you get a nice even haircut. With the front of the model's hair, it's always best to check the front and cut it when it's dry. Sometimes people have various sort of cow's licks and bits and bobs like that. So what we'll do is with the length at the front there, we'll just trim those ends up there, but we'll do that when it's dry, just to make sure that the hair doesn't rise up too much and the client gets a really high fringe. So we're just connecting the haircut through now. We don't want any bluntness in the haircut, so that's why I'm cutting into the hair rather than boldly just cutting across. All about adding texture. So we're using the guideline there from where we've cut before. We're using that to cut in there and just following the guideline all the way through. Again, just avoiding cutting the front when it's wet. So we're just going to tidy up the edges now. So again, just following the guideline. Let's take a step back and have a look. So we're just going to leave this just sitting on the top of the ear there. So comb the hair down, make sure it's nice and straight. Okay, so now we've cut all, all around the hairline there and we've taken off the length. What we're going to do now is add texture to desired areas. Okay, the model's hair here is quite thick around these sort of areas here. And we just want to make it a bit more of a tasseled look. So what we're going to do is use the filling razor. When doing this, you've got to make sure that the hair's really wet. If the hair's dry, it just cause the wrong sort of friction and give a bit of discomfort to the client. So make sure it's thin sections of hair, gliding the razor through. This is very similar to the thinning scissors, however, it just gives you a bit more of a textured look. Okay, make sure you're not pressing down too hard on the razor. If you press down too hard, that will take the whole section out. So just Really, really small thin sections and then just gliding the razor through just to add more textured look. Now we've texturised the hair, what we're going to do is dry it off and see how the hair falls for the client. Okay, so when, you, when you're drying the hair, make sure you're drying the hair with a brush. Okay, a lot of people, so you see people using combs to dry hair on videos, just make sure you use a brush, comb for combing, brush for drying. Okay, make sure you get the brush in and you're pulling down against it sort of thing. So you're just working out all the curls. Okay, so we're going to cut the front of the hair now, right? So we're doing this while it's dry. So make sure you're not just taking all of it down and, chip and chipping into it. Client takes his fringe that way. So just take a section there, just use a clip to get the excess hair out of the way. And we're just chipping into the very ends. Make sure you bringing the hair down, not out, okay? If you bring it out, you're going to get graduation. Just bringing it down, just chipping in to the ends there, just to even out the... To summarise the styling, I've used Palmau Barber's Matte Mud into dry hair, just making sure you use a little bit, about that suffices. Mix it through your hands, spread it all the way through, okay? And then just apply like you're shampooing your hair, and then just fix into place. And that's how to do a trendy hairstyle.